Hello everyone, welcome back to Craftopia. Today I'm going to be checking out the new 4th anniversary update. So I read some of the patch notes and basically it consists of some bosses that have been released to the outside world so they're, not, so they're in dungeons but they're also in like boss areas on the outside free roam area. Also there's a new enemy type called Bonibus and he drops the 4th anniversary coin which you can click those and those will go towards making new weapons and gear that you can use also i think there's like furniture and some stuff like that but i'm not really gonna be looking at that today and that's basically it so what's on the docket is just running around i'm gonna try to catch all these bosses because i guess a bunch of them became tameable now so i'm gonna go around and catch a bunch and then i'm gonna go uh find one abyss get the coins and see if there's anything good to build and i'll be showing you all that today so let's go look and I've already found where he spawns at. He spawns about right. Well, I think he spawns anywhere where his boom mono's at. So around here is where I've been seeing him spawn. Okay, I found the monos. Where's your friend at? Why are you climbing rocks? Good. Huh. Not seeing any. There's one. Okay. See that guy that has like the Trump kind of hairstyle? That's what we're looking for. So. First off. Do I have a bow and arrow? Dragon? Nope. Bad dragon. Well, shit. Alright, everybody. I finally found one. So, what you're going to want to do is drop this. Boom. Well, that's gonna do. Zach, that's gonna make a bunch. Yes, and they're gonna grow. They're gonna grow. And they're gonna keep growing. And you're gonna wanna do this until you're satisfied. Until your hunger is fully satiated. Or until they stop growing. And kill any of the other ones that come. Because you don't want any of those out here. Because that'll just breed a bunch of bullshit that you don't want. Yes, yes, this is ideal. This is very ideal. This is the most ideal ideals I've ever been. Oh, yes. More, more. Grow, my babies. Grow. Multiply. Yes, come on, more. Did I tell you to stop? Come on. Yes, 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 yes. And this will be the fastest way to just get the coins you want. And then, I guess we you're satisfied, how many we got there? They're not multiplying as fast as I thought they would. It's because they keep stacking up, and I got away from the fall down, and whatnot. Because I think the, you can only, you can't like clone a clone, but you can keep cloning the main one. So once that main one falls, they all, no! Okay, I gotta kill him. Okay. As long as you don't grow. Nice. Okay. And boom. Now we got a bunch of coins. And we can pick up our shit. Yeah. Alright, let's collect all these coins. Then we'll head back to the crib. We'll see what we can build them. Or if, or if there's anything worth building. Because, you know, a lot of times they just add shit that's just worthless. It looks cool, but it's worthless compared to, like, something you just pick up off the ground for cheap. Alright, so here we are, back at the crib. We're gonna go check out the blacksmith. Okay. Mono caliber. <laughs> nice. I like the naming. So as you can see, I got a bunch of those fourth, fourth anniversary mono coins, the gold ingot, and got some batteries. I got batteries everywhere, so I'm not really worried about battery supply. And I've showed you guys how to make an infinite battery farm in some of my older videos. Mono no new boko. Hmm. Is it good though? Look at that, like this one's 550 and 220, 275. This one's only 320 and 100. So, like, from what I'm seeing, looks like these weapons are still good. 
However, they're not as good as like other things you can get. So it seems like it's more for low level people, like new players that are coming in to get like some decent gear from the get go or from the beginning. Mo no ho, she's out. Like it's the same with this one. This one's stronger than this one. But I think this one would be easier to get because Mithril's not as easy to get in like beginning. Ooh, staff. Okay, let's check this out. 320 magic attack. 150, you know, 100 attack. Yeah, see, it's not even. But it's still like almost as good as like an Antimentite. So. If you're in the beginning, it's way easier. And plus, uh, Monobis is located in the beginning. Ooh, Mono 16. Like that. Like that a lot. I want it. I like it. I'm gonna have it. So that that's 300. This one's 600. Yeah, see, like that's the only good thing I've seen so far. The only thing that's really better is a type, and that gives a defense. That's reduced. Type rare, I mean, some machine gun's slightly better shotgun. Those are slightly better, but those are also harder to get and make. This one you can just make it right now, see? So that's like the only thing I can see worth making. Uh, I already have one of those. Play mono. See, it's just not as, it's not gonna be as good. That thing looks new. I might have to make one of those. Yeah, 600, measure attack, 250, 290? Mm. That's interesting. Okay. Desert Dragon. I can make one of those too. I probably got a bunch of those skills. But it's probably not worth making. I got swords that are way better. Yeah, it looks like they got a bow. And not much else. That's cool. Let's make that gun real quick. There he is. Did I not equip that gun? I guess not. Hey, you're destroying nature. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, that's dumping. That's dumping. That's like no buffs, no uh, enchantments or anything. Yeah, he was level 30, but like still. Crocodile is a little stronger. Okay, come on. Okay, that was cool. So, got the mono coins, showed you your mono embassies, made a gun, liking the gun. Uh, now let's go catch some tames. So, the first person I'm gonna start with is Flower Bitch, uh, Belle Del Fleur, or whatever her name is. Alright, so here we are at Belle Del Fleur. I'm gonna give you all a pro tip. Get a tank. As soon as you can, get a tank. Because that tank will help you beat anything in this game forever. It's a cheat code to beating this game on easy mode. Get a tank. That's all you'll ever need. But right now, I'm going to be using tank and restraint bullets. So, I've already showed you guys how to make restraint bullets in another video. If you want, you can go back and watch it. But that's all you really need. You need four and you hit over four of them, you throw a ball at her, and you catch her. And if she breaks out, you gotta hit her with four more, and then hit her with another ball. Oh, fuck. I can't believe I've done this. Whoops. Alright, so let's try that again. Come on, get in the tank. Maybe if I, like, get next to her? No, no. Uh, same same results. Okay. 
Come, yep. get in the tank. Okay. Okay, so tank is a cheat code for everything except when you don't want to kill it. So for everything else, we use swords. Oh, wow. Oh, get fucked. Oh, you bitch. Ah, you boy. I'm trying not to kill her again, <laughs> as you can see. Ah, you're really being annoying. There we go. What? Come on. Oh, that was bullshit. Hey. And, oh, I'm confused. This is bullshit. I can't go back. Not letting me. Gosh, this is more annoying than it should be. Come on, just a little bit more. Say my name. Come on, I can't run. Come on, launch! Launch! You're doing the, you're the cheating! Cheat this bitch! Okay, okay. Come on, come on, yes! Okay. Oh wait, I gotta throw more down. Okay, okay, she didn't see. Whew. Alright. That's one captured. Very nice. Oof. She was she was feisty. She was a feisty one. She bites. She has teeth. Alright. Good catch, good catch. Let's go on to the next one. Alright, we're back here at our next prey, the bouncer lizard gunner. And we're gonna try the tank again. Uh, if it doesn't work the first time, use another tank. Now this guy is decently strong. There we go, okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Oh. There we go. Okay. Oh, kind of first try. Let's go. Nice first try. Another one bites the dust. Easy. Easier because I didn't obliterate, obliterate them to nothingness with the tank. So that's good. Two shots, one capture. Let's go. Alright, we made it to our third boss, the Tyrant Snake. So this guy does poison. Uh, I'm going to try to use the tank again. Hopefully the tank doesn't one-shot him. If the tank does one-shot him, I guess I'll just use... I don't know, magic. <laughs> Alright, let's try this out. Yeah. Just, that I, just as I had surmised would happen. Uh, you got one shot it. So, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Sword is magic. Uh, so, hopefully, let's hope this does enough. Alright. We're gonna do. We're gonna try just this. Well, look at all that blue grass. Looks dope. Anyways. We're gonna try this blue circle. Get him trapped in there. Hopefully that doesn't kill him. It looks like it is going to kill him. Yeah. Whoops. So we're gonna try that again. And we're not gonna use that one. We're gonna use this one. And then we're gonna go like that. Uh Okay. Oop. He did not like that. Hopefully that doesn't kill him. Okay, he's tanking all that stuff. 
Oh wow, okay, what a dick. There we go. Trying not to kill you. And you're not making it very easy. Oh damn. He's got me in his clutches. Nope. Okay, just a little bit more. Let's go like that. Put it on real quick. Gosh, damn, right whenever it's rolling, too. There it is. Ooh, okay. What? Better. Are you. What are you talking about? I was about to say. This game is high. Okay, nice. Another one. Easy. Cool. Level 70. Not bad, not bad. And of course, when I'm done with all this, I'll be testing them out. I like how it seems that the devs have fixed the issue with these. Because it used to just, like, some would just get stuck. And you have to uh, exit out and come back into the game. And then come back and pick them up. For, like, you'd actually be able to retrieve them. But it seems like they're working fine now. None have got stuck at all. Shit, that dragon scared me. It's like, why is there just a scary demon wings back there? I remember, yeah, I have a dragon over there. Alright, so for the last and final boss, it's going to be the Hydra. Alright, let's get the Hydra. Let's see, I'm going to power up a little bit. Give, like, 1%. 1% of the D. I'm also going to put a fire resist on because that can be a pain at times. Don't let him stomp at me. Oh, you've been defeated by what? Poison? <laughs> I don't even know what happened. Okay, whatever. He's fine. He's sleeping. Okay. Let's go like this. Oh, wait. I forgot I have a tank. Yeah, never forget you have a tank. Never forget where you came from. Okay. There we go. Uh. What? Oh, I didn't know he was stunned. I thought he wasn't stunned. I'm just trying to get him down a little bit. You burn my shit down, you fat bitch. Come on, there we go. Okay. We're gonna drop some more just in case. Nice, we're getting the first round every time this one. I've had some of these take like all my ballistas or my chain restraint bullets. Nice, level 75 Hydra. Alright, last but not least, Fafnir? Fafnir or Fenrir? Can't remember which. And you know the drill. Tank. Restraint bullets. Capture prison. So rude. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh my gosh. I thought I just killed him. Oh. Come on. Just let it happen. You'll be my best friend. I swear I'll take good care of you. What do you think? Stop it. Okay. You think I'd just throw all those on next to each other, right? Nice. First. This is just a good day. Shit. Maybe they did it for the anniversary. Made it easier. I don't know. Alright, that's five all captured up. Let's go back, tame them, and I'll show you what it's like. Alright, we're back to test out the pets. Now, just to go over where they're all located at. Let's start with the poison area. Right here, the Tyrant Snake. Deadland Hydra. In this dungeon. And then we'll head down here. To the ice biome or snow biome. Right here is the Gunner. 
and here is Fenrir. And let's see. Oh yeah. And Beldar Floor down here. Now we're gonna start off with the gunner. Looks pretty cool. Where are you going? Where are you going? A little bit excited. Calm down. Okay, cool, cool. Let's take a look. Nice little plasma cannon, electric cannon, or maybe a Tesla cannon. Who knows? Looks like he was missing an arm. Oh well. He's got a better one. Okay, so that's the gun. I like that. Nice AoE attack. He's decently quick. And the AoE attack is like the fast uh, cooldown one, so that's a little OP. You just do that every like three to four seconds. Not bad at all. And then he got this ranged attack. It's pretty trashy. Uh, he's okay, I guess. Yeah, level up, nice. I wish he could jump, like, actually jump. Uh, I guess. Yeah, he's okay. Oh, nothing really special. Nothing really, like, jaw dropping about him, I guess. Check out the snake. I'm guessing the snake's probably gonna be the same way. He looks pretty cool. Stop attacking things. Oh, he's angry. Oh, that face, though. Oh, my gosh. It's not very quick. He does a little poison spray and a bite attack. Let's see. It's kind of like the, what's called, sandworm or poison worm, but not as good. So, like, yeah, you can get him just to collect him, but he's probably not going to be anybody's top roster. And let's check out Belle Fleur. Oh, she's, she's looking a little different. She's looking a little different. Huh. Can't place my finger on it. Where are you going? <laughs> you didn't like me looking. Oh no, she just wants to be alone. Will you leave the birds alone? Oh, she's healing me. Yeah, see, she likes it. Gosh, leave the birds. Why is this bird so strong? Come here. I'll ride you, baby. Come here. Okay, we'll go somewhere a little bit more private. Stop trying to kill everything. I'm getting us a little view of the beach. The beach, yeah, and that's you, the beach. The mountainous, bulbous, voluptuous, flower beach. Yeah, yeah, I like her. New favorite, new favorite. We'll pollinate that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's check out her attacks. Oh, she's quick too. Oh, shit. She's hella quick. I like that. Oh, she's doing different types of attacks. Okay, that's a red one. I think that might be like fire or something. I'm not sure. There's the poison. Okay. More poison. I know she does a healing attack. Okay, so, so far I've only seen the red and the poison. Seems like she favors the poison. Oh, there's a healing. Nice. And it comes back relatively quick. Oh, yeah, that's a cool AoE. Okay, yeah, I like her. She's pretty cool. And she has a new look that I'm digging. Cool, cool. New main. La second to least, or second to last, is Fafnir. He's looking pretty cool. Let's see if he's quick. He better be quick. Uh, he's pretty quick. He might be... Oh, I can't tell if he's faster or slower than the flower tame. Oh. Okay, there we go. There's something. 
Okay, that's pretty cool. And that's his main attack, so that's not bad. And he has that ice crystal breath thing, or ice ball. Okay, that's not too bad. He's viable, he's viable. Alright, last but not least, Hydra. Oh, he's big. He looks dope too, I like the look. He looks different from he did in Legacy, oh yeah. Looks like a helmet. That would be a dope helmet. Where's that helmet going? Give me a helmet like that. Okay. He's pretty quick. I feel like he can hurt people just by charging. Let's see. Okay. Got a little tail whip. Some tail action. Oh, there it is. AoE. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Never expect too much from the pets. I think only really the poison or fire pets are really good. And everybody else is just like usually a meat shield. Unless you're using them from transportation, then the flying pets are really good. I think the dragons are more over than the rest. Oh, nice. Well, cool, that's all the tames. So we've got the tames. Got the new mono fourth anniversary coins. And that's basically it. There's a couple other minor things, but nothing really interesting to do so far. Hopefully they add some more depth to this game. I hope they do something with boss rush, maybe. You need to calm down. You were violent. Alright. Seems like as good as any place to end it. So, it's been real. Caught like four or five bosses. Found Monobis. Crafted a cool little gun that I would recommend anybody getting. Because it's really powerful for how cheap it is to get. And other than that, that's basically it. But if you had a good time or enjoyed watching, consider leaving a like or a sub. Until next time, have a good day.